Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Brakadam, to you sincere believers, to the hopeful elect. Um, and this is just a real quick, just doing this video in response to this comment that was left on a video that I did entitled, We Are Closer to Civil War Than Any of Us Would Like to Believe. All right. And, um, like I said, this comment here says, you want all hell to break loose? Seek therapy. And, you know, I went back and forth a little bit um, with this particular individual. And, of course, because um, I don't know if it's a man or a woman. But, um, of course, going on the page, they don't have no fruit, no videos, you know, uh, nothing um, as far as, um, you know, proving their 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 case you know um which clearly lets me know that this individual uh being run off their emotions you know they let their emotions um you know control them um because again you know uh, addressing this comment man um because you know i answered uh i replied back I replied, I said, you goddamn right, we want all hell to break loose. That's the only way the kingdom will come. And if you're not in that spirit, then you don't want to see this place go down. Then you'll be destroyed with it, you know, which, hey, you know, um, just go through some, some milk basic precepts, all right? Because, you know, as I said, man, uh, we want all hell to break loose, you know? Matter of fact, I'm going to read this real quick because as I was going back and forth, forth with this individual, well, pretty much after this comment, um, I was um, kind of meditating. I've been meditating on because, you know, the Apostle Gabar often says this and, you know, this is one of those things that stuck with me um, going into how. To be in his truth, man, um, it's like you, you got to be, um, how, do he, how, do, how, does he, how does he put it? Well, let me read this first. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse uh, 10, it says, We are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong, ye are honorable. But we are despised. <laughs> All right. And um, like I was saying, because uh, Apostle Kabbal often makes this statement about how being in this truth and, um, you know, serving Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you're pretty much. Uh, 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 because, of, you know, the things that we meditate on and the things that we speak on and the things that we believe um, from the, from from. Looking at our belief. From the perspective of these people out here, all right, you would think, you know, because basically we're, we're considered, you know, we're, 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 we're like Matt, we're likened unto, unto Matt men. Cause again, to believe the things that we believe and to, to preach the things that we preach, right. <sighs> you know, hey amen. Like I said, you know, um, if Esau had his way, they would lock us up in a, 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 a psychiatric ward, you know, but nevertheless, that's why I read it here. All right, we are fools, fools for Hamashiach because, you know, believing one of the one of the what may appear to be crazy thing, crazy things that we we teach and believe. All right. Is that hey, this earth is going to be invaded by so-called black angelic beings. All right. You know, <clears throat> so again, uh, teaching things like that to the average individual, they'll look at you crazy. And you see, that's just one of the. I mean, the things that, like I said, we teach and we believe, and this is why we're looked at as, uh, uh, this is why we're counted as, as, as to these people, we're counted as dumb, you know, um, you know, we're looked at as fools. We're looked at as, as, you know, these people, these, these guys are crazy, man. You know, going back to the thing that, uh, the statement that Apostle Kabar often makes, he's often says something along the lines of how being in this truth, man, you, you gotta be a, a border, a borderline, uh, um, how does he say it, man? Um, <sighs> Uh, pretty much borderline, uh, 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 like a almost like a psychopath. He doesn't use those words, but basically how he puts it, you know, you, you got to be crazy. 
you know. Um, and hey, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take that because I'm going to read it again. It says, we are fools for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Hamashiach. All right, because like I said, um, we're looked at as, as, as fools. We're looked at as crazy. We're looked down upon to these people. But in the eyes of Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, hey, you know, if you're if you're a sincere believer, man, you're you're doing a very uh, honorable work in the eyes of Yahweh, Bashim, Shai. So that's why I say, hey, man, we'll we'll you know we'll we'll, we'll take it, you know. If anything, take uh, take it as a compliment because hey, when Yahweh Shai walked the earth, when Yahweh Shai walked the earth, um, he didn't you know he wasn't accepted by the world, you know. So this is something I often tell people, you know, um, because you got a lot of these guys like um, what's this guy? These, these guys like Joel Osteen and, and you know, these Cruffalo dollars and, you know, uh, these so-called preachers or whatnot, um, how they are pretty much accepted by the world. Well, if you're if you're if you're doing it right. All right. You're, you're supposed to get you're supposed to catch more negativity than than positivity, you know. So if everyone's, you know all cool with you, it, it, it pretty much everyone loves you, then you're not doing it right. You know, something, you know you, you, you're know, doing something wrong. Because like I said, Yahweh Shah, when he walked the earth, he wasn't re received by the majority. All right. So the point being that, um, you know, we're supposed to expect the same results. You know, don't go, you know, and, uh, uh, preaching this uh, and teaching this truth, thinking that, the majority is going to, you know, you're, you're pretty much going to win, win the majority. That's, that's far from the case. You know, you can, like I said, you can expect more negativity than positivity, you know? So that's why I said, Hey, you know, when it comes to all the proverbs and by words and the name calling and, you know, look, being looked down upon, well, take it, you know, cause Hey, Yahweh Shai, Hey, this is what he had to deal with. So to get the same results that he got, Hey, it's a, it's an honor, you know? So that's why I said, you know, though we're looked at as fools and these people, you know, uh, um, um, nevertheless, we're doing a very noble work and, and honorable thing in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. And that's all that matters at the end of the day, you know, because we're not trying to please these people. You know, like I said, I went back and forth with this individual, you know, and, and you know, I just because I'm, I'm going to just go to the comments real quick. All right. So I left that reply and they replied back. It says typical fastest Christian fantasy. You'll never be raptured. And for one, um, there's no such thing as a, a pre-rapture before the tribulation. All right, Mr. or Mrs. Alex uh, De DeLarge, you know, however however you pronounce that. There's no such thing as a, a pre-rapture. You know, no one's getting raptured up uh, before what they call the great tribulation. All right. So we'll go through that real quick. Like I said, just, I'm just going to bring out, you know, basic milk pre uh, precepts. Um, I'm going to read this here in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. And again, you know, um, because, hey, we have much. We, we have hope, man. All right. Like I said, versus these people out here where, you know, they, they don't have no hope. They're just mindless zombies. They don't know what's going on, you know. Um, they don't know what's getting ready to happen. They, they you know, they, these, these people, they, they're walking targets. And how about Shemal Shah? He has it. He has it out for them. All right. They don't even know it. And you to Mr. and Mrs. Alex. All right. You might be one of those individuals. Lest you repent. All right. You might be one of those individuals, you know, because they I may mean, we're in a time now where a hey, Yahweh Shemal Shai, which Yahweh is the true name of who the world calls God. All right. And, you know, all things are done through and uh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. All right. Which that's who the world calls Jesus Christ. All right. Um, yeah, this is the time now where Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, he's going, he, he's going to uh, uh, turn up, man. All right. Um, so, like I said, lest you repent, hey, you know, you might be one of those individuals that, you know, hey, the Lord has it out for you. Because, like I said, majority of these people out here, man, the Lord has it out for them. They don't even know it, man. Here it is. They're walking around thinking that things are sweet, man. You know, thinking that 2022 is going to get better. This is my my time. You know, my, my year, new me and all that bullshit that we hear every, every, every year, every so-called new year. All right. Because the new year doesn't start in January 1st. All right. In, in, in the dead of winter. That's, that's another thing. All right. You know, um, the new year starts around the time of the spring, you know, when everything is, 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 you know, you have an, a, animals coming out of hibernation and, 
you know, uh, uh, the, you know, trees and the, the, the plants and everything is, is, is uh, um, you know, everything's is budding and, and springing forth. That's that's the new year. All right. So, like I said, January 1st, that's that's not the, that's not the new year. All right. But nevertheless, um, Revelation 3 and 10, it says, because I was kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right. So going back to this, this uh, uh, rapture doctrine that still, but people still, you know, um, uh, you know, believe in that you're going to be raptured before the tribulation. No, um, this, this time known as the hour of temptation um, is going to befall the whole world. Right. And, and the rapture is going to take place after the great tribulation. All right. Let me get that in Matthew chapter 24. <laughs> Because the thing about it is no one's escaping judgment. You see, here it is. You people have lived uh, your whole lifetime uh, being wicked. All right. Um, and you, 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 you think that you're going to be able to just escape judgment and walk right into the kingdom. That's not how it works. All right. That's not how the Lord operates. All right. Here it is. Those of us on our, on, on you know, on, on the right hand, you know, um, you know, to the, the, the those that are sincere, you know, and, and, you know, those of us trying to do the right thing to the best of our ability. Here it is. We're catching all type of hell, man. We're, we're getting jacked up. We're getting judged, man. The Lord is dealing with us, you know. Um, and, you know, concerning the, 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 the elect, because the, at the end of the day, only the elect are going to be what you what you call raptured. All right. Only the elect are going to be delivered. Um, and like I said, the, 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 the rapture takes place after the tribulation. All right. So, um, um, lost my train of thought, but, um, so let me go back to this slot. I lost my train of thought because I was saying that, you know, um, like I said, those of us trying to do the right thing, um, the hopefully elect, which, which, which uh, we call ourselves the hopefully elect because, you know, um, you know, we, we, cause scriptures say that. We don't dare to, to, to count ourselves, you know, put ourselves in that number. All right. You know, um, but th there's another scripture that talks about how we walk as if we are of the elect, you know. And again, if you're of the elect, hey, you're going to do that which is required of your Habash Shemashah to the best of your ability. And that's what that's what we're trying to do. The hopefully elect, the hopefully elect that's what we're trying to do. All right. We're trying to, you know, walk uprightly in the ways of your Habash Shemashah. We're trying our best to represent him the best that we can, you know. And like I said, um, the Lord is, is is dealing with us, man. You know, um, we're, we're yeah we're catching all type of hell and all type of afflictions, man. All right, and those of those that's of those of us that are trying, but to you people that are, are willingly just just you know sinning, living a life, you live your whole life of sin, and thinking that you can just escape judgment because that's what this time of this this time that I read in our Revelation, the um, third chapter, all right, that hour of temptation. When you read in Jeremiah 37, it talks about Jacob's trouble. All right. Um, Daniel 12 and 1, going into the worst time in history, because this is the time that we're coming into. We're coming into the worst time in history. All right. You know, and to think that you're going to be able to, because you see, that's what that's what this time is for. All right. You know, um, going into this worst time in history, that's, that's what it's for. The Lord is going to punish those of you that have, you know, you didn't want to walk uprightly. You didn't want to listen to the, and come up under the, the, the ordinances of Yahweh Shem El Shai. This is what this, this time is for you. This is going to be a time of judgment. Yahweh Shem El Shai. He's going to, you know, because hey, all of our works follow us. You know, all, all of our works follow us up, uh, up up to this time of judgment. All of our works are going to follow us. And you see, um, <sighs> hey, because you want to be found in good graces when Yahweh Shem El Shai when he when he does open that 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 judgment, man. And you see, you people that have. Like I said, you know, um, you just live the life of sin, all right? And you think you could just escape this judgment and just walk right into the kingdom? No, it, it don't work like that, all right? So, again, going into this time of judgment, um, this is what this time period is for. No one's escaping this judgment, all right? No one's going to be pre-raptured before this judgment, all right? Let me get this in Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. And just 
bill with me. Matthew chapter 24, I'm going to start at verse 29. It says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall be shall the sun be darkened. Matter of fact, I'm going to read this real quick. All right, because this is going to be a thing of endurance until the very end, the very end. All right, and those that were diligent, which like I said, only the elect are going to, you know, um, be in that spirit of, of diligence because the elect, hey, they're not going to, uh, um, you know, they're not going to fold, you know. Here it is, Revelation, the 13th chapter is playing out right before our very eyes. We're living in it, all right? And, and, and again, going back to the elect because it's all about the elect. These were the ones that the Lord ordained, um, you know, they, would, uh, they wouldn't bow down to, to, to the beast that you read about in Revelation 13, all right? Because, you know, if you conform, if you bow down to that, if, if you take that karagma, all right, um, you know, if you the, the Revelation 13, 16 and 17, if you take that, then you're going to be destroyed. There's no repentance from it. That that's it for you. And you see only the elect are going to are going to, you know, uh, not bow down to the to, to the image of this beast. All right. So it's going to be a thing of endurance, uh, enduring until the end, the very end. All right. And that's when the rapture is going to take place. Not before. So I'm going to read this from Matthew chapter 24. I'm going to read this first real quick. Verse 13, it says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, it's because it's, it's just another thing of enduring until the end, man. You know, because um, when you read on down, just to show you how bad it's going to be out here. Again, going back to Revelation, the third chapter. All right. This hour of temptation that's going to befall the earth, the, the whole world. All right. Cause it's it's gonna be bad, man. Um, it's gonna be so bad out here that when you read verse twenty four, it says, "For there shall arise false hamashiachs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, and so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect." So it's gonna be so bad out here that if the Lord, because like I said, the Lord set it up to where the elect they wouldn't be deceived, they wouldn't bow down. But if He didn't, then a it's going to be so bad out here that even the elect would get, uh, you know, taken in, you know. So that's how bad it's going to be. That if it, the Lord didn't write it so, even the elect would be destroyed. You see. So it's going to be bad out here, man. But again, only the elect are going to endure. Only the elect are going to make it. So, jumping down to verse twenty-nine, it says, "Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened." So again, well, let me just read on. It says, "And the moon shall not give her light." And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Now, ultimately, because, um, you know, this has a meaningful meaning to it. <laughs> but um, when it's all said and done, because um, at the end of this, when it's all said and done, because this is going to take place when Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus, this is when the Lord is going to um, deliver. This is when he's going to make his second, his second return, and he, he's going to deliver the elect. All right. Um, and that's going to come when a hey, because, you, you know, you got talks of, of World War Three. All right. All this tension with Russia, NATO, America, Taiwan, all these nations, everything's leading towards World War Three, which, again, that's another one of those things that we look forward to. All right. You know, because hey, if you're in the, if you're in the right spirit, as I, I mentioned, man, and, you know, talking to this individual, hey, if you're in the right spirit, you know, because, you know, everyone's all. Shitting in their pants concerning World War Three, you know, because hey, everyone has these weapons of mass destruction. Everyone has nukes now, you know, and everyone is afraid that you know if it, when a, I'm not gonna say it, but when a World War does break out, all right, it can go nuclear, you know. So everyone's af you know uh, afraid that you know we we can you know because this is gonna be the war to end all to end all wars without a shadow of a doubt, all right. But to the hopefully elect, to those of us that believe, all right. Uh, we're not we're not afraid. If anything, we're hastening these things, man. We can't wait for all, all World War Three to break up because we know and understand that from then uh, from there, that's going to usher in our deliverance. All right. Because at the height of World War Three, the climax of World War Three, um, it is going to go nuclear, believe it or not. 
it's going to go nuclear. All these nations, they're going to press those nuke buttons and it'll, it'll, those ICBM missiles are going to be shot forth throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. But again, to the hopeful elect, um, we got nothing to worry about because, again, hey, we're going to be delivered. All right. So going into the, you know, the whole sun being darkened and the moon not giving our light and, and stars falling from heaven. Like I said, it has a meaningful meaning to it. But ultimately, when those missiles come, all right, they're going to black out the sun. Right. They're going to, you know, uh, 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 block out the sun. And um, this is going to be a simultaneous event, because, like I said, this is when your house is going to crack forth through the clouds and the, and the sky is going to be the skies. The heavens are going to be covered in chariots. Because, Like I said, that's one of the, 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 the things that we believe. All right. The earth is going to be invaded by chariots. What the, what what the world calls UFOs. Right. You know, um, the UFOs, man, those, those are the chairs and the angels operate in those chairs and they're going to come with you, house to do two things. I always put it like this. They're going to do two things. They're going to seek and destroy. They're going to seek the elect, deliver the elect, and they're going to destroy everything else. You know, like the the, the scene out of that movie, um, War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise, right? When you had the, sh uh, the, 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 um, the ship coming up out of the ground, right? It, it came up out of the ground and, you know, everyone's all in awe. But once that thing started winding up, that's when people started to figure out that, hey, man, something ain't right. You know, and by then it was too late. You know, people started running, right? And what did the, what did the, what did the what did the machine do? It started zapping people. That's what the chairs are going to do. You know, they're going to be zapping people into into in, 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 into into dust. You know, so they, like I said, they the the and not only that, they're going to be zapping monuments. All right, blowing up buildings. You know, because they the Lord scriptures talk about how the Lord is coming to bring fire. All right, and, you know, so hey, the, the, those chairs, man, they're going to be getting busy too. Those angels, they're going to be getting busy too. You know, blowing shit up. All right. So, like I said, the 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 the, the ships are gonna are coming. To, uh, the, excuse me. The angels are coming to do two things: to seek out the elect and to destroy everything else, man. All right. Um. So, reading on it says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Because contrary to what you people believe, Yahweh Shai, he's not coming back to give hugs and kisses. No, when the when this takes place, this is going to be a very, very, very terrible day. All right. And so much that, hey, you know, people are having dreams about this, man. You know, uh, people and I'm talking about, you know, because you have, uh, uh, um, you know, whoever the Lord, uh, uh, you know, deems to give these visions to, you know, because, you know, uh, when it comes to seeing, you know, having visions, visions and stuff like that, it, you know, it's not just tied to the men of the Lord. No, you know, uh, everyone's having dreams. And you see, one of those is one, this is one of those things that uh, people are having dreams. Um, you know, the Lord's uh, given certain people visions on, on, on stuff like this, the second coming of Yahweh Shai, right? And like I said, hey, you know, you know, people are sharing their stories, man, and they're all crying. You know, they're all freaking out, bugged out. You know, boogers running down their nose because, again, what this world has taught concerning the second coming of who they call Jesus is it, this is this is it's nowhere near what the scriptures talk about. You, you you want to talk about scripture. All right. Well, you you need to actually read your Bible, Mr. or Mrs. Alex. All right. Because the second coming of Yahweh Shai, which who you call Jesus, it's not going to be a pretty day at all. All right. Even those that get delivered. The elect that get delivered, they're going to be in the chariots when all this destruction is going on. And they're going to be looking down like, holy shit. They're going to be looking down in fear because it's going to be a very terrible day. And we're talking about those that made it. You know, they're going to be looking down like shit. You know. So verse 31, it says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. So. This is when the what you call the rapture is going to take place. It's going to come, as I read in verse 29, it says, immediately after the tribulation of those days. All right. So this is going to, the rapture is going to come after the tribulation. And, and, and again, with that, only the elect are going to get raptured. All right. But the, the, the point being that the rapture is going to take place after the tribulation. It's not going to take place before. There's no pre-rapture um, anywhere in the scriptures. All right. So going, um, reading on down these comments, it says you're based on some Oslakia. I'm going to read this comment. Um, they said, typical fascist Christian fantasy, you'll never be raptured. 
Yahweh Bashem al Shai, and this is my comment that says, Yahweh Bashem al Shai is a racist, fascist, separatist, all of the above, and there is no rapture before the tribulation, as I just, when you know, broke it down, right? Um, but like I said, you know, hey, the Lord is a, he's a separatist. The Lord is a racist. He's a, he's a, um, what do they, what do they call it? Um, uh, he, the Lord shows favoritism because it's all about the Israel, the nation of Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians. That's what it's all about. All right. Get, get a scripture on that real quick. It's all about the nation of Israel. Again, that's another one of those things, contrary to what is taught in this world, all right, the Lord don't love everybody. Like I said, the Lord loves and the Lord hates, all right? He set up people that, you know, he, he loves, which is the nation of Israel, and he set up uh, uh, people that, you know, he just, he can't, he can't stand, which would be Esau, Edom, all right? As well as all the other nations, because the scriptures talk about how, hey, in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, these nations, they were created, uh, or excuse me, they were, um, they're, they're vanity. They're, they're less than nothing. You know, these nations, they don't mean anything to Yahweh Bashim al Shai. They were created to be our servants. All right. But even more so, um, Esau, Edom, all right, you know, the so called Caucasians, the Lord, you know, um, uh, I'm, I'm going to keep it PG for, 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 you know, YouTube. But I'm going to read this in Amos chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Hear this word that Yahweh have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities, for all your iniquities. All right. And again, but the point being that because um, when you read verse one again, it's, it, it, it tells you uh, who, who this is concerning. O children of Israel. All right. You know, and in verse two, it lets you know that, hey, the Lord is he was only dealing with dealing with the nation of Israel. All right. Out of all these other nations, because you have uh, 18 nations in, in total. All right. And out of all the nations, out of all 18 nations, the Lord was only dealing with one nation of people. All right. You know, and that's the nation of Israel, which consists of 12 tribes, which consists of so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians. All right. This is who the Lord is dealing with. This is, you know, his, you know, that, that, that that's what all the Lord cares about. And I could be on all day, you know, uh, going into scriptures, how, hey, the Lord, he only cares about his people, the nation of Israel. That's, that's what it's all about. All right. You know, so, you know, just just touching on further how, hey, the, like I said, the Lord, he's a racist. He's a separatist. He's a he's a fascist and, you know, whatever you want to call it. All right. You know, the Lord is all that because the Lord don't love everyone, contrary to what you people believe. So reading on down, it says you're based on some stuff. You're based on some stuff, but your obsession with Armageddon is re really weird. Reminds me of white Christians begging for a holy war. Right. And, you know, as I you know, mentioned before, like I said, hey, we're, we're counting as fools for Hamashah because, hey, we look forward to these things. We look forward to World War Three. All right. You know, we, we look forward to these things, man. You know, um, that's what I said, man, the Apostle Gabar, hey, you, you know, you, you got to be borderline a uh, 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 psychopath, man, coming into this when you when you're in this truth, man, the things that we believe in, the things that we teach. Right. You know, so, you know, when people say things like this, man, and, you know, I take it as a compliment. All right. Because, hey, you know, these these people, they, they don't know, you know, they, they just they, they don't know. And here it is. They look at us like we're stranger. Here it is. <laughs> you know, we you know, like I said, they're looking at us like we're the crazy ones, you know. And, but clearly you guys, you people, you, you, you don't, you don't know anything about the Bible, man. You know, you clearly don't know the scriptures and you got the nerve to look at us like we're, we're the strange ones, you know? Um, but reading on, it says my whole motivation is based off the scriptures, which you clearly have no videos on your page, breaking down. Absolutely. No precepts. You clearly just going off your emotions. Like I said, you know, cause you people are, are, are emotional, man. You people are losing your, you're failing miserably. All right. You know, and you just want, you know, you know, you, you people are all, all over the place, man. Well, you know, you just get down with the program. And you see, the, thing, the, 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 the beautiful thing about it is, hey, to those of us that hopefully elect, all right, hey, if the Lord didn't call us into this truth, then, hey, we'd be, uh, uh, you know, uh, riding those same waves as you people, man. You know, we, we'd be in the same boat as you people. But you see, because, you know, they mentioned that, you know, I need to seek, uh, I need to seek therapy, right? And I'm, I, this is my therapy. You know, the scriptures is my therapy because we're all sick. You know, we, we all need help, man. We, we're, we're all, uh, um, you know, we, we, we're, we're all sick, man. 
And you see, this, 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 this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is what's healing us. It's, it's what's bringing us, you know, back whole, making us whole again. You know, so this is my therapy. You know, uh, I, you know, I, I don't know about you, you know, but reading on it says, I want to accuse others of going off emotions when you're the one being guided by religion. You should want peace with everyone. And I said, you don't even know what the word religion means. And that scripture in the scripture in the Bible tells you we should want to be at peace with everyone. Um, I think I meant to say what scripture in the Bible tells you we should be at peace with everyone. Right. And they said, yeah, scripture makes it pretty clear, which, you know, again, what 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 scripture tells you that we ought to be at peace with everyone. You know, the scriptures tell you how there's a time for peace. There's a time. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to that. Because there's a time season for everything. And you see, we're in this. We're not in the season. We're not in the time of, of love. You know, um, Ecclesiastes verse three, excuse me, Ecclesiastes three and one. It says to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. So there's a time to eat, hey, you know, uh, people are, 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 are you know, being brought, spirits are being brought back on the earth. And there's a time where, hey, you know, the Lord, he, he's taking spirits out of the earth. People, people are born into the earth and people are dying. All right. Every day, man. Um, it says a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. And you see, because, um, Get this. In Ecclesiastes chapter seven, because again, we're not in the time of, uh, of laughter. We're not in the time of dancing. All right, this isn't the time to, you know, uh, 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 this isn't the time to be doing the uh, the, the cha cha uh, cha cha slide and stuff like that. You know, all right. Because I'm gonna read this in Ecclesiastes seven and, and two. It is better to go into the house of mourning. Than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. It says, Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Why? Because this is not the time to be, like I said, singing kumbayas, coming together. This is not the this is not the time for all that. Dancing, singing, you know, dancing to the cha-cha sliding. This isn't the time for all that. Why? Because we're ready to get the hell up out of here. This the scripture say this is not our rest. We want to go home, man. We want the kingdom. We want peace. So why are we in this? Why, why are we in this 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 um spirit of you know uh uh, uh mourning, you know, hasting, you know? We 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 hear things like World War Three. The, the talks of World War Three and, you know, because like the situation in, in, out there in uh, Pakistan and, you know, all uproars of the people, all these so-called bad things are going on the earth, you know, and everyone may look at that not knowing the scriptures. Right. Everyone may see what's going on around the world. And, and you know, they might, you know, think it's all, you know, what you know, we, we, we got to pray, you know. We got to ask God to bring love. No, man, when we see these things, we're, we're, we're rejoicing in the spirit, man. Because these are the things that the Lord told us that he would be, he would bring on the earth. He would cause all these things to, to, to take place on the earth. All right. You know, because um, going back to the initial, the initial comment, it says you want all hell to break loose. Right. And yes, we want all hell to break loose because we know um, the sooner all hell breaks loose, the sooner we get the hell up out of here. All right. Because, hey, we're in a state of mourning, like I said, or like I read, you know, we're not in the time of feasting, partying and bullshit. No, we're not in that spirit. All right. You know, here it is. We're being oppressed to death you know, on all sides. All right. From every angle, man, we're being oppressed. All right. And hey, man, we're tired, man. Let's uh, talk about how, hey, man, they shall wear out the saints of the most high. We are worn out, man. We're tired, you know, and we want to go home man. we want we want true peace. You know, we want our 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 our, our rest, man. All right. So this is why when we see the things that's going on, we rejoice in the spirit. All right, because, hey, that's letting us know or the Lord is letting us know that he's getting ready to make his second return. And with that being said, hey, come our deliverance. So this is why we want all hell to break loose out here. All right. 
So, hey, we're in a, we're, we're, as I said, man, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. So, hey, if you're in the right spirit, if you're in the right spirit, all right, then you're not going to be in that spirit of partying and bullshit. You're not, you don't want peace to, 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 um, you know, take place. Cause, hey, even the scriptures say there's no peace. No peace is coming to the wicked. The scriptures tell you that. All right. So there's no peace coming to, to America and there's no peace coming to this world until we get delivered out of here, man. And righteousness is going to be established on earth. That's when our peace is going to come. So you see, you know, this is why this is why we're, we're mourning, man, you know, because we're tired. But hey, we see everything that's going on. All right. You know, and hey, you know, let it let it let it be so, man. We, we, we hope all, you know, things continue to get worse. Right. And it will get worse. Things are going to get worse out here because, again, we're not in the time of love. I'm going back to Ecclesiastes chapter three. Uh, verse four, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. And you see, again, because the beautiful thing about it is like uh, as I read, hey, it's better to be in the house of mourning rather to be rather than to be in the house of feasting. All right. So, hey, we're on the house of mourning. All right. You know, um, while everyone else is in this partying bullshit type spirit, well, hey, the Lord is going to flip the script. All right. The tables are going to turn because when all hell breaks loose out here. All right. Those that have been mourning hey, in that day, they're going to be rejoicing. All right. While those that are rejoicing right now in that festival spirit right now, hey, they're going to be mourning. So the, the, the tables are going, are going to turn. The script is going to flip. All right. And like I said, you know, because hey, we want to see judgment. You know, and, you know, like I said, hey, you know, this is, that's one of those things, man. You know, you, you this is why, hey, you know, um, this is this is why, like, a, like, like, um, you know, roughly quoting the Apostle Gabar, um, coming into this truth, man. Hey, you become a, a it's like you're it's like we're borderline psychopaths, man, you know, borderline crazy because we want to see judgment. You know, we want to see because, hey, when you're reading Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. It tells you, um, let me get that real quick. Ezekiel chapter nine. Cause it's not like we're just some, you know, you see the Lord, when you come into this truth and as the Lord, you know, sucks with you and, and the spirit deals with you, man, you see coming to, coming into this truth, we're being transformed into his image. We're being transformed into the image of Yahweh Shema Shai. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to read this in Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 5. It says, And to the others, he said, In mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your ear, excuse me, let not your eye spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is a mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. So, um, so yeah, you know, um, Again, when that when that day comes, when this time comes, um, the Lord given the the, the the angels a command to uh, basically kill those that don't have this this the, this mark. And this, this is not the same mark that I, that you read about in Revelation thirteen. All right, this mark when you read it, when you read verse four, I'm not going to read it, but when you read verse four, all right, um, the word there it goes back to um, the the go the 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 the, uh, the Hebrew word for mark goes back to the dawah, which means exempt from judgment. All right. Because this is what's taking place right now, you know. Um, everyone, everyone's being marked. All of us is being marked. All right, and you're either being marked, you you're either, you you either got a check mark by you, by your name, or you got an X, uh, an X by, by by your name. All right, all of us. You see, and the time is going to come when um, those those that have that a check by the name, they're going to be all right. They they they're going to be protected. All right, but the, but the, to those that have that X by the name, hey, they're gonna be killed, man. Ultimately, they're gonna be killed because you know it's not like it's gonna be a quick death. No, I mean the Lord's gonna make you people suffer, and this is the point I'm getting to. All right, you know because we want to see these, we 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 can't wait for the Lord to start opening up on this place because you people deserve to suffer. You people deserve misery. You know, you people deserve uh, the pain and the death that's coming. You people deserve it all. All right, and like I said, you know. Uh, speaking like this to someone that, you know, they don't, they don't know the scriptures and they don't understand how the, the mind of the Lord works. Right. You might think that's that's harsh. But when you read verse five again, it says, and to the others in my he said in mine hearing. So you see, the Lord wants to hear this. He, he wants to hear you people scream. He wants to hear you people suffer. All right. 
like I said, you know, hey, when we come into this truth, we're being uh, transformed into the image of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. So, hey, we want to see you people suffer. The Lord, he wants to see you people suffer. We want to see you people suffer, you know? Because, hey, you people deserve it at the end of the day, man. You deserve it. You deserve everything that you've got coming to you people, man. You see? So, like I said, it's not like we're just some, some, you know, no, man, this is the Lord and his mindset. He wants to hear you people suffer, man. He wants to see you people plead for mercy and beg. He wants to see these things. All right? He wants to hear it. Right? So, hey, like I said, hey, we want to see, we can't wait for the Lord to open up judgment. So, yes, to answer your question, we want to, we want to see all hell break loose out here. You know? But I'm going to close it out there, man. Hopefully this was edifying. Um... To the elect, because, you know, if you're not of the elect, then you know, you're not going to get it, man. You're not going to understand it. You know, the, all these videos that brothers do, man, is to edify the elect. Because those are the only ones it was bound to get it. You know, to, to, to those are the only ones that was, that was bound to understand at the end of the day. You know, so again, hopefully this was edifying to the elect. All right. And, um, you know, uh, uh, Lowe's will. Um, hey, man, this is the year because Apostle Tahar 20, uh, coined the year. The year, how about Shemel Shah turning up, you know, and again to you, individual, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Alex DeLarge, um, you know, lest you repent, man, um, hey, you, you better get right, you know, lest you, lest you be destroyed, you know, so giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim al Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, brought a thumb to the whole full elect, the elect, the elect, the elect. Lord's willing to next time, Shalom.